Hi everybody, it's Stomping Formula. Today we're going to go over Pawn Strings and also Simulation Craft, the program. Now a lot of people have been asking on the forums what the best stat weight for this and what the best stat weight for that is. And I wanted to see if I could clear up a little bit of issues that people have been having. The stat weights that people put out are not very accurate usually because all simulation programs that, that will measure your secondary stats for their weight are generally based off of what that person is wearing at the time. Now there is a baseline and it goes over it in a couple tutorials where you can go in and you can set your character with its current talent builds and its current artifact and you can go in and set it to where all your stats are 500 and I'll give you a solid stat weight of what you need to work for to get at that point in time. But we're going to go over how to sim your gear on your character and what you can do to get your own stat weights. And I'm also going to go over a really good tutorial I found which will help you determine how to use Pawn and how to use the um, and how to use simulation craft how to take the information from sim simcraft and make it a little bit easier for you to understand I don't know if that makes sense I hope it does so we're gonna try to get this out of the way so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get curse client if you don't already have it so you're gonna go to this website right here it's called www.curse.com and you just hit download now and it's going to download the program and once you download it you're going to get a little prompt to ask if you want to run it and put you know put an icon on your desktop and everything and once it's running and it looks like this except this will be blank it's going to try to find your wow folder all that stuff so once it finds your wow folder it's going to tell you you don't have any add-ons, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on Get More Add-ons, and then you're going to come over here in the search block, and you're just going to type in Pawn. As you can see, this is mine's already installed. Excuse me, but you're going to notice that right here at the top is the most downloaded. It says top seven downloads of all time. I'm guessing. So you're going to download Pawn and install it. This is a really good tool for getting other add-ons too. You can get several different add-ons. You don't have to just use it for pawn. I have Deadly Boss mods, Scotta, and Weak Wars as well. Now, now that that's complete, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go download SimCraft or Simulation Craft. You go to www.simulationcraft.org click on the downloads and this is you can either get the zip file or the installer itself I recommend getting the installer it makes it a little easier but you have 32-bit 64-bit and you also have Mac OS X so once you install it you're gonna run it and it's gonna look like this as soon as I drag it over this is simulation craft all right it's really it works really easy now you can click on the how the interface works and that will help if you're having issues figuring out how it works but I'm going to try to walk you through and see if we can go through this without having an issue on how to operate SimCraft and a lot of people have different ideas of this so I'm going to show you how I use it and most people do use it this way Give me one second accidentally. There we go. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to import. And it's going to say import character. US Realm. I'm on Storm Rage. This is my tune's name right here. And you're going to click import. Really easy stuff. Make sure that last time you logged out you were in the gear you want to sim and the spec you want to sim in. Then you're going to go to options. And you're one depending on what you're doing, what you're simming for, this is the things you need to click. Uh, my default role is tank. They have DPS and heals as well. 
And then you're going to come over here for target type. This is for tanking, I assume. I might be incorrect on that. But from what I've read, you want to make sure you have TMI standard boss selected. Because this is a mixture for tanking. It's a mixture of physical damage, 65% physical to 35% magical damage. And so you're not just going to get a bottom of the line physical mitigation uh, damage sim. You're going to come with buffs and debuffs. I always select Bloodlust because it seems like a good idea, seeing as most time in Raid you're going to have Bloodlust. Then this is another one that's really important. If you don't do this, you're not going to get your stat weights. Come in here, this is not going to be checked. So you're going to check Enable Scaling. And then I did Agility, Stamina, Crit Rating, Haste Rating, Master Rating, Versatility Rating. These are the thing, you know, these these secondaries right here are what most people are trying to get a hold of to see where they what kind of weight they hold. I also do plots the same exact way and I also click enable plots. Now when you do this, that's when you're going to hit the simulate button. Back here at the globals, you're going to run 300 seconds, which is a 5 minute fight, 10,000 times, 10,000 iterations. Most people will run just regular 10,000. You could probably run up to 25,000 if you have extra time. It takes about three minutes to run this. I ran it earlier so that you guys wouldn't have to sit through it. So after you hit the simulate button, you're going to go through all this. You don't have to read this at all, but you're going to get your results page, and this is it right here. It's going to tell you your DPS, my 184k damage taken per second, 53, or almost 54,000, and then heals per second, 55,000. Your TMI index is 57.4k. This is the amount of damage you take compared to the amount of damage you can heal back. I don't remember the exact ratio. I think it's in the, uh, in the tutorial I'm going to load up here in a second. So you scroll down and it's going to give you your very first set of stat weights. This is the one that the SimCraft has come out based on your gear. That's a big thing. I'm trying to... <laughs> based on your gear. Not based on what Icy Vein says. Not based on what everything else says if you were naked. This is based on the gear you're wearing. It's based on what, you, what SimCraft believes will help you take less damage as a tank or vice versa. This is just scale factors for fell Rage. Damage taken per second. These are my scales. Stamina is 0.03. Agility is negative 0.24, mastery is negative point. So basically what this says is right now stamina is my major stat weight issue. Now there's another thing you can do is you can, they have scale factors for other metrics. So this is damage per second. This is priority damage per second. So the so DPS is going to be, um, this is like AOE situation even though we're only on one target. And this is like single target situation so because it's a priority target. So what a lot of people recommend is you take this. This is for higher, you know, once you're really starting to simulate your gear very, you know, a lot. Um, you take the damage taken per second. And then you come down. There's another one. Here it is. Factors for fell rage healing per second. You take those two and you kind of put them together and get an average of what your stat weights are going to be. We're not going to go over that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the pawn string. So this is this is the stat weight ranking. This is the one you always see get posted in the forums. Mine is stamina over agility over mastery over crit over haste equal to versatility. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this right here, parentheses and all, you're going to say copy. Now we're going to move that out of the way. Alright, now we're in game. So what you're going to do is hit enter. You can't see my chat box because it's covered by my portrait, but I'm going to type it out. You hit slash pawn and hit enter. It's going to bring up your pawn screen. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to scale and it's going to say you know, automatic or manual, let me manage scales. This is the one you want to click on. It says, share your scales. This is what we just got, that, that um, string we got out of uh, simulation craft. So you're gonna click on import, 
and it's going to say, press Control V to paste scale tag you've copied from another source to here. So Control V, that's our whole thing, remember? I'm going to hit Add. Now it's going to highlight this is your, see mine has two specs, as Vengeance and Havoc, and then it has mine one that I just did. And these are all your scaled stat weights right here, see? These are the ones we just got. So you're gonna close that, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like whenever you have an upgrade. Now, I have two legendaries sitting in my bag that I can't use because I usually use them in my Havoc set, but they're gonna be um, obviously an upgrade over the gear that I'm wearing because they're 910. So what you get whenever you scroll over, this little thing right here at the bottom, I'm sorry, I'm pointing at something and you guys can look at it fine. But it says, uh, this is the, the leather belt that everybody hates, but it says Havoc is a 40% upgrade for Vengeance is a 30% upgrade based on my stat weights. And the same thing here for Suffuse's Secret, it's a 38% 30, upgrade or 15% upgrade for Vengeance. And that's pretty much it guys. I mean, I really can't think of anything else to show you except for what I'm gonna put in the, um, I'm gonna put it down in the description is the detailed tutorial, but I'm gonna bring it over so you guys can take a look at it. It's on Reddit. And it's a really, it's a really long website. That's why I'm gonna put it down in the description. But this is the, it's a really detailed description. It tells you exactly the best way to sim either a tank, a healer, or a DPS. And I'm really hoping that uh, this is gonna help you guys out so you guys can make your own decisions. And stop relying on internet forums because, like I said, the pawn streams you're getting from people, they're only good for their gear. And the ones that are supposed to be coveralls only work until you start to get geared, and then you really need to resim your character. Now, resimming tanks is different than resimming DPS or healers. People who resim healers and DPS, you can do it almost every time you swap out a piece of gear. Personally, I wouldn't resim a tank until you gain 10 item levels. So every 10 item levels, resim your tank. Well, that's all I have, guys. Come watch me on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash stompingformula. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you soon.